Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the match. We're hopping right into it. Teams have joined the lobby. We're going to get started here tonight as the Aquinas Rocket League Maroon roster takes on Oakland University in week three of... Hold on, I got to turn up that game audio. I forgot to do that before the match. That is my bad. Let's get this up. There we go. Week three, unfortunately, Aquinas dropped both in their double header last week. They come in at 0-2. Oakland University. I'm not sure of their standings coming into today, but it's bound to be an exciting one. Oakland is a very tough roster that Aquinas has not managed to crack just yet. Maybe this new roster will be able to find it. And again, joining me tonight is Palm. So, Palm, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great tonight, Powder. I'd watch some good uh, Collegiate Rocket League. And like you said, Aquinas had some issues 0-2 on the season. Maybe they took some time to regroup, get back in it. We have ML, though, for Oakland. Driving the ball downfield, Aquinas is going to be on that defensive position. Going to be a good clear out. It's going to be jump back up by Tysonic, though. Right, Oakland on offense to start. Aquinas had a couple opportunities at the beginning, weren't able to crack the defense just yet. They're going to go back on offense now. It is a good keep away from Stocks, doing everything he can to keep it in, and a good keep in again from Bayouge but it looks like ML will finally take this out. I realized I lost our boost. Let's get that back up there. Still, oh my goodness, still scuffed. There we go, now we got the boost. There we go, Aquinas going for a big, a double commit there. Mega is gonna knock it down and knock it forward. Stick is just gonna pick it back up. His Benzing is gonna try and commit to this one. Tysonic's gonna knock it back for Oakland. Aquinas really just holding down the defense here, trying to shut down everything they can. Ball gets knocked all the way down to the Oakland side of the field. Tysonic is right there. Mega gets a demo on the stick. Ayush is going to go. He didn't have a go good touch. Not, ooh, not quite the clear he wanted. Stocks looks like he should be able to get this out, however. Benzing going to be flying up for this one. Misses it. No boost in the air. ML is going to be right there. Stick is there. Excuse me. Stocks there to make sure he clears it out. As Oakland's going to go on the defense, one more ML is going to knock it back into the Aquinas side of the field, though. As St Stocks is struggling to get back to it, Mega is going to knock it up. Bayou just right there to knock it back on the defense. You're seeing a lot of solid defense here from the Aquinas Saints. Right, and it looked like Benzing had an opportunity to push up on the ball to get a clear, but I think that he believed that he wouldn't be there in time. Great shot, it will be off. But right now, Aquinas, their d defense is holding up where last week it was a struggle with the odd rotation. So it looks like they've been able to clean this up. Now it's just a matter of getting the ball out and getting some offense going. As Stocks goes for an air dribble, it will be off. But and I get, they're just getting it out right back out. Aquinas is basically getting one shot and getting sent right back out by Oakland. they got to figure out how to keep some pressure up for a long time. Bayou's had kind of an open net there. ML is able to boost there, gets the save. It's just back and forth. Great demo there by Bayou's though. Being able to knock it back forward. Mega's there to keep on the Aquinas side of the field. Stocks is though getting the nice little air dribble, getting the full boost. So Aquinas going for the full commit here. Stocks gonna knock forward. Mega's there to save once again. Bayou's couldn't get up in time. Aquinas still gonna be on the offense though. Quickly swapping over to defense as Emma's right there. Bayou's amazing save. Knocked it all the way downfield for Aquinas. We're going to see what they can do here. Minute 32 left. We're still scoreless here in this first out of five. That was Aquinas' opportunity right there. And now they've overcommitted. Oh my goodness. That's so hard to see, especially after Aquinas. I, sh I don't want to say should have been able to take advantage, but Oakland University committed up way too far a minute ago when Bayouge got that huge clear. He did have a very tough angle to try to shoot at, but they do it right back to Aquinas. Aquinas had all three players in their offensive half of the field, and Oakland is going to take advantage of that every day of the week, and they take the 1-0 lead here as we reach towards the end of game one. Yeah, a lot of a lot of solid defense and offense being played by both teams. It's really a really slugfest here. As you said, Oakland has a 1-0 lead. Tys Tysonic going to send it up. Benzing is there to save, and Tysonic can you get the credit for that one? We're going to see you knock that one in, though. I believe this is an own goal by Bayouge. It is, but oh, it's not really bad on Bayouge. It is kind of an odd rotation to me, but Tisonic had a beautiful backflip, and it basically forces Bayouge to own goal that. And now they have insurance left with a minute left in game one. 
as you see Stocks and Aquinas going on the heavy offensive push here. Really trying to get anything they can to get back in this game. Very possible with 55 seconds left on the clock. Stocks is going to send all the way up. Little pinch off the ground by Tysonic, and that's going to be a 3-0 lead for Oakland. Oakland's offense is starting to heat up. This is what they like to go for is a lot of aerial play, and in the first part of this game, you didn't see a lot of it, and that's why they were able to not, or that's why they weren't able to find the back of the net, but now that everything is going into the air, I think Oakland's going to start taking advantage of some more opportunities. Yeah. Ending it's an early shot off to Sonic is there to stop it. We're gonna watch Mega now. Mega no boost. Move the ball all the way downfield with ML into Aquinas' territory. 30 seconds left on the clock. Oakland does have a three to zero lead here. The Stocks is still trying to push it forward. Aquinas trying to get anything they can out of this. And this one's knocked forward. Benzing gonna have his shot blocked away by Mega. As Aquinas is still fighting hard on the offense here. Bayou is really going for anything he can get. The Quince is trying to put at least one on the board as the clock goes down to the countdown. Six seconds left, and Aquinas did hold some really good defense for this game, but like you said, Powder, the aerials just really got to Aquinas that Oakland was putting up there. Right, and it looks like they'll end it with one as Benzing hits it, touches the ground. Oakland is going to take game one, but that first half of the game is exactly how it wanted to go for Aquinas, and I know Hangry is telling them that right now. That first half was actually beautiful, considering Oakland is a very tough team for Aquinas to beat. In the MEC Championship last year, I believe Aquinas lost 4-2, to two, and it was closely contested there, but Aquinas just never has really had Oakland's number, and this is the exact same roster that Oakland is playing with so for Aquinas to come out and play a good first half of, of a game one it is a good sight to see for the rest of this match unfortunately they have to keep Oakland out of the air they have to take advantage of their own opportunities like the one where Bayou had that long clear down again like I said it was a very tough goal for him to score but you just have to be able to keep it in their offensive half instead they gave up a counter-attack goal and that's what led to the onslaught that we saw in the last part of that game yeah, it was kind of the snowball effect for Oakland. That that triple offense commit by Aquinas really kind of slowed down the momentum that they had going on that amazing defense they were holding up. And, and we go back to it, Oakland just hitting those aerials. We're going to get into game number two here of the five. Is right off the bat, see Oakland going very offensive, going for those early aerials. Aquinas is going to try and knock it back to Sonic. Going to be right there along with ML. Try and push an early goal from Tysonic off the wall. And that is first blood there. Let's see the rotation. For Oakland. Yeah, Benzing, this is something he'll have to learn now that he's on the Maroon roster. It's easy for me to say in the casting booth, but he, he should have been able to see that both Aquinas players, Bayouge and Stocks, were upfield. He instead turned to try to make the challenge, and once that ball was hit by Tasonic, there is no chance that anybody from Aquinas will be able to catch up on that. Oakland, again, just taking advantage of small things that Aquinas are making mistakes on. They take a very early lead in game two. And Oakland still on the offense here. Benzin going up for it, gets a little tip, kind of messes up Tasonic, but Mega is right there to come off. Stocks is there as well. Aquinas doing all they can on this defense, still bouncing back and forth, saved by Bayouge. Mega's gonna go up, tries to pitch off the ground, it's gonna be pitched around, and it's gonna go right into the upper left corner. Kind of a snipe shot there by Tysonic. As the camera stopped, it looked like Bayouge was just kind of sitting there. Oh, it's because he had just landed. Unfortunately, he fell off the crossbar. Obviously, that puts him in a nearly impossible position to make the save. Oakland again taking advantage of some defensive miscues from Aquinas. Now 2-0, not even a minute in. And Aquinas already trying to get back on the offense here as Oakland still striking fast. There's four minutes left, ML Pinta off the ground, gets into the back corner, and it's gonna be shot off the crossbar to Sonic. Aquinas taking a breath after that one, it's right off the crossbar. Stocks is gonna try and lead this offense, which by Aquinas, Sonic is there to deny the push. Sonic getting a beautiful shot and saved by Bayou's though. Bayou's had the right momentum at the right time. Mega's there to follow up. So the ball's gonna head right back down field though to Sonic does get the demo on the stick that's just put on the points a little bit of Bayou's is still putting all he can into the stick is going up knocks it up beautiful tap by him buys there try to commit as well misses it Mega gets the demo on the stick Benzing is also there in the air this aerial play is dangerous 
It, that, that's what happens with the aerial play. The aerial play and that demo just open things up for Oakland. Benzing, not in a bad position, but that demo basically puts him in a bad position. Now he's the only man up. I think it was Bayou to his back in the net. He has to push for it, and Stock's just respawning. Obviously, no chance that he's able to catch up to it. So it's just the demo play. That's something that Aquinas looks for. I don't think they've really had any. I think, believe they had one in game one, but so far in game two, just nothing, and it's showing as they're not getting any offense. Yeah, as Aquinas is just trying to do everything they can on offense here, but Oakland is shutting everything down. Stocks is right there, though. A little early push by Aquinas. He's going to go off the ceiling, off the backboard. No good, though. ML is going to push this back downfield for Oakland. Followed by Zizonic. He's going to go off the wall. Bounces off the ground, and that's going to roll itself in. That's a 4-0 to lead here for Benzing. Oakland early. Benzing, I don't really blame him for going up for that, but he has to be able to make contact because, again, once he misses, it's just straight into the net. Nobody back. Bayou just rotating in, but obviously he cannot catch up to that. So I don't really blame him for going after that, but he just has to make that touch if he goes after it. He does take a great shot. Maybe looking for a pass off the backboard, but yeah, right. We're not even halfway into this game. It's already 4-0 lead for Oakland. Aquinas has had absolutely nothing going on offense this entire series so far. But that is, again, a good pass, but Benzing just can't nail the shot. Yeah, Aquinas is trying everything they can on offense. You see being immediately shut down by this Oakland defense. Aquinas is isn't able to get back in the net in time. Aquinas is really pushing here. Bayou is going to push it up. ML is going to be there to knock it out of the way, though. Benzing is also right there. Nobody there to take advantage of the center stick. Flying, excuse me, Stocks flying into the sky. Going to try and hit it back. No good. And Aquinas is committing everything they can onto this offensive play. And it may come back to bite them here in just a second. Oh, that's a great cut from Stocks. He knows that the offensive player is diving in for the shot. He knows he all he has to do is put his car in front of it, and he makes that save. Looks like Aquinas is going to go back on offense. They haven't been able to take advantage yet, and it's cleared back out. They are getting more offense, but they need to find more passes and more open spaces to be able to find the back of the net. Yeah, as we see immediately after, Mega is able to knock it in off the assist by Tosonic. It's a beautiful shot there. And Oakland now 5-0 over Aquinas in this game number two. It's tough to see on the replay, but Bayoj, it looks like he kind of darted towards the ball and then away from the ball. I'm not sure if he was being indecisive or if he saw something that I couldn't see, but when that demo happened again, it just opens up space. It left a wide open net that Oakland takes advantage of. A minute and a half left. It looks like Aquinas will need a reverse sweep if they want to come back in this. Must it's very likely going to be too late to be able to come back, though they just need as much momentum as possible in this game. Yeah, they just they just need to take this one that's and try try to get some points on the board, get the team spirits back up. Just over a minute left, as you said, Benzing really pushing forward high off the backboard. So Oakland's gonna try and just clear this out and play the time game. Baez is right there, gonna miss the tap. Benzing also there to follow up. Stocks gonna try to pinch in. Mega is right there to deny the goal though. Stocks gonna take it off the ceiling. No good. I just here to follow up Aquinas, just fully committing the offense here. That leaves an open goal for Psionic, but no, they immediately get back in. And a lot of stuff has happened there, but it all ends with Mega scoring it in the end. 6-0 to zero, Oakland on top of Aquinas. Starts with Stocks. He did commit for that touch from Sonic. He couldn't make contact, and as the defenders are rotating back in, they're just not quite quick enough. The ball enters the back of the net, and again, it's just Oakland just... Pouring it all out on offense. Aquinas is starting to look. It's not as bad as last week. I would say this is better than last week. I'm not saying, or I'm not seeing a lot of double commits from Aquinas like there were last week, but obviously with a better team like Oakland, it's going to appear as if you're not playing as well. But I would say the defensive rotations have definitely cleaned up. No double commits. Unfortunately, though, Oakland is too powerful for a team like Aquinas in this game. They're going to have to clean up more defensively, figure out how to tighten those rotations, close anything off. Oh, great stop from Stocks. They're going to also need to, they just have to find open space if it's by demos. I don't even know how many demos Oakland had, and you can see how well it worked out for them. But for Aquinas, they just need to figure out how to get it going for themselves. Yeah, Aquinas just having slow starts, not able to get a lot happening on the offense. They have not scored a goal yet in this series. 
and so they're looking for anything they can get. Like you said, though, this is a lot better than last week. Last week there, you could tell that they were they were a little bit in the shakes. It was a new match, new season. Um, it's just I think it was the first time playing together, as you mentioned last week, in a non-scrim environment, natural match environment. And so they're getting the shakes out. And this week, you can see, like you said, they've tightened up a lot on their defense rotations, and they've really just pushed forward. And it, it does look a lot better than it was last week. Waiting on the final player to ready up to hop into game three. Aquinas, it's going to be tough going to be able to come back. They hope to at least take a game off of Oakland, but at this point, they might just need any momentum possible because right now, Oakland is just being their usual self. They were definitely a tough foe for Aquinas last fall. Aquinas only took a couple games off of them. I believe in their first MEC match, they did get them down to... I'm trying to remember. I believe they won the first mat or the first game and then were reverse swept as that was only a best of three then. And in the MEC finals, obviously, Oakland took it four to two. So Aquinas can't take this roster. It's just a matter of this new roster trying to figure out how to go about that. And immediately, Oakland on the heavy offensive play. Stocks is there, knocked away along with Bayouge. So Aquinas is going to try and see their first major offensive play of this game at number three they're immediately forced to go back on the defense Tysonic is right there all three of finest players are on their defense side of the field we're going to try and stop anything that Oakland's going to throw at them that is right there flipping it back Benzing gets the bump that's going to knock the ball forward but Oakland is still controlling the offense here in this game number three there was a double commit there from Aquinas. It doesn't come back to bite them. Maybe it'll only help because now Bayouge is upfield. He takes the shot wide looking for Benzing. Benzing pushes up much too far. It's pushed by him and wide, but now Tasonic will try to get the clear out. But so far in game number three, it's not looking as bad, but as I say that, a double commit, but Benzing is able to make that save. Aquinas trying to play it out on defense to try to get some offense going. A beautiful save there by Benzing. The double commit was absolutely insane. Tysonic is going to send it up for Aquinas, knock it back and forth. Oakland is still controlling the offense in this game. Stocks going up, getting a little bump on that one. Going to try and push it down the field. He's got a little bit of a ability to take a shot. Decides not to go for it. Now just going to knock it back. It goes right over top. And Bayou's is there to save that one. He's out of boost, though. Stocks going to send it up once more back and forth here it's Aquinas really pushing hard on this offensive play three minutes ten seconds left to go in this game no goals yet Titanic is going to try and change this right here not to off the crossbar rolling around knocked off the crossbar again by ML and Mega is going to knock it in finally after two shots immediately hit the crossbar stocks was the first one to miss the ball, bangs off the crossbar, and Benzing flies in to try to clear out, but he can't find it. Bayou didn't have a bad idea. He tried to slow it down and not panic as much as Benzing was trying when he was trying to go after that, but unfortunately, that didn't work out either. Oakland gets the best of Aquinas there, and they take a 1-0 lead. Benzing is just going to try his best to hold off anything he can here. Oakland does have that 1-0 lead. Aquinas on their last leg in the series in the game. Three, Oakland leading 2-0. Stocks is going to try to push this forward as no boost. Tries to get the dunk. Tysonic is right there with his boost, though, as Oakland is just controlling everything right now. Bayou is going to send the ball back into Oakland territory. ML is going to clear it out for Oakland. He's a really big offensive play here by Aquinas. Knocked off Bayou's beautiful shot off the left crossbar and that's going to be difficult for them. Isonic is going to be just one all the way down field. Mega is there to make sure it stays after Stocks tried. His Stocks is going to be bumped all the way back. Bajor right there though. Knocks forward. Mega is there to deny anything on the Oakland side of the field though. Aquinas had a couple of chances back there. Honestly, I'm going to say it. They should have been able to score. They had a couple open nets, a couple good opportunities to knock the ball in, but they can't find the back of the net, but Oakland is. Aquinas is a minute 47 away from being perfect swept. 
which means all three games losing and not scoring a single goal. They have some time left and they've gotten the opportunities, but they need to take advantage of them. They've missed quite a few in this match and quite a few just in game three alone. Yeah, and Aquinas are gonna immediately get the touch of the beginning, but Oakland is gonna come right back with that. Bayou's gonna get the save, he's gonna be knocked all the way down. Court Aquinas really on this offensive push here as Oakland is just gonna get the clear out and try and reset this. ML is there. Tysonic is gonna follow up off the ceiling. Benzing is there to save it for Aquinas. 122 left to go in this match. A minute 15 left for Aquinas to come back in this one. Try to put at least one goal on the board in this series. Tysonic is right there, knocked away by Stocks though. It's a close one there. Oakland is still just controlling this defense though, just making it so Aquinas just can't really do anything still have a minute left. Honestly, it's not even impossible for them to make a comeback to win this game, but they've got to get it going. They've already wasted a couple of opportunities. Now they have another. Bayou just going to wait for the challenge, but he loses it to Sasonic. Still time, but they've got to get it back in. They've got to get offense going. They have to be able to take advantage of these. Right now is a perfect opportunity to take advantage as Bayou just sends it down. Will be wide again. This is what I mean. Oakland overcommitted, but Aquinas not able to take advantage of the opportunities they're being given. Byers, though, is going to get a beautiful pass from Benzing, and that's going to be the first goal that Aquinas has scored this series. It is a great pass from Benzing off the sidewall. Bayouji immediately reads it, turns around, gets the nice shot into the back of the net. Aquinas finally gets a goal, and with 28 seconds left, they are still 100% within this game. 20 seconds is plenty of time to get one singular goal as Stocks tried to get that redirect but they have the time. Again, they've just got to take advantage of these opportunities. They're getting a lot more offensive pressure. Oakland starting to get suffocated in their own defensive half. Yeah, Stocks really has to do everything he can here. Five seconds away. Mega is going to get the demo on his Stocks. Bayou's going to miss the double tap. He's going to be knocked all the way down court, downfield. Bayou's going to try to knock it up. Stocks is right there. He's going to try and take it off the ceiling. And that is going to hit the ground, and that is going to be a 3-0 sweep with Oakland University beating the Aquinas Saints. If Aquinas could have played the entire match the way that they played in the final minute of that game, they honestly would have had a much, much better opportunity in this game or in this match than they did. They played that they played the last minute of game three like they played the first half of game one, just putting the pressure on clean rotations in and out. They played it really well and they got their first goal of the entire series. They avoid getting perfect swept. They will drop it in a sweep. But again, they just, they need to figure out how to be able to play that way the entire game. And of course, it's gonna take a while for this roster to get used to each other fully. And especially against Oakland, it's so tough to play against them and try to learn at the same time. But they had it going for a while, so they should be able in future matches to keep that up for an entire match. Yeah, you saw them getting into their groove there right at the end. Like you said, it was like during that first match. They played so well that first half of that first match. And if they can mirror that, the beginning of the first match and the end of this match, I think that this is going to be a really good Aquinas roster to keep your eye on. Absolutely. That will do it for us tonight. All we had is one match. Last week was a bit of an odd one out with the double header. It will be just a singular singular match each Wednesday night but thank you for coming out we'll be back here with more maroon action next Wednesday for MEC tomorrow I will be back again with the high school match of the week for myself so if you want you can check that out otherwise catch us here back next Wednesday for some more maroon action thank you and have a good night